Salam again to Muslim Apologetic Australia. Well done to bre- brother Daniel Hakikato who wiped the floor with Harris Sultan. And all you can do is go to Harris Sultan's YouTube channel where he's uploaded the debate where he had with Daniel Hakikato. And you see that the comments are showing that even acknowledging Harris Sultan lost the debate. Have a look at this. This is Rodney Jones. Rodney Jones seems to be a a, a, um, a non-Muslim. He says, "I never seen Harris so humiliated." And this is this is Harris Sultan's page. He uploaded this video. He uploaded this video. All right. <laughs> And Rodney says, I've never seen Harris so humiliated. 49 likes. Have a look at this comment. It got 56 likes. Alex Judoka seems to be another uh, non-Muslim. He says um, to Harris Sultan, your opening statement was as disastrous as the rest of your irrelevant comments you made all along this debate. You have been successfully outclassed and overpowered by Daniel's robust arguments. You had to appeal to your already defeated master Apus to get some of that heat off you. How very embarrassing. Again, from a non-Muslim, Alex Judoka. Oh my God, look at this. An ex-Muslim. Look, his name is XX Muslim. 24 minutes ago. Listen what he says. He says, It's things like this is the reason why I came back to Islam. Look at Harris Sultan. No coherency and shouting and rambling. Whereas Daniel had his views and stuck to his views whilst being comfortable in his body language and didn't even compromise with his views. Harris didn't come across like an intellectual or an academic. He came across like a guy in English pub having an argument about football with someone else. But regardless of what Harris said, he can't answer why I came back to Islam. Who decides all the things he describes in Islam as bad as being objectively bad? Is evil and good even real? He got nine likes for this. Right? <laughs> this is amazing. Have a look at this. Another non Muslim. He writes I'm at two, um, minute two, uh, hour 205. He says, And Daniel makes the better case so far because Harris didn't use the international mental health statistics. I provide him that prove wealthy Sharia states have more mental illness than Western states. He says, you messed up, Harris. I lost respect for you. So this non-Muslim apparently has got some statistics on mental health and he tried to provide that to Harris so he can present it against Daniel. But Harris didn't bring any statistics to refute Daniel. And this non-Muslim is pretty upset about it. He's upset at um, Harris's performance and so he says I lost respect for you <laughs> I'm not sure if this person's a Muslim or a non-Muslim he goes by the name of Free Yulman he says oh man Harris why didn't you address Daniel H- H's questions and point okay fine you don't have to if you can't but why run away because uh Harris basically ran from the end part of the debate. Here, this is another, uh, seems like a non-Muslim. He says, Harris, mate, I knew that terrorist lover was going to come up with those arguments. Uh, He's talking about Daniel. He says, but you were woefully unprepared. Let's be honest with ourselves. You made zero substantial arguments on the incompatibility of human rights and Islam. Heck, I could do half a decent job of making at least three or four substantial arguments on why the human rights paradigm is better than the Islamic one. 
then leave it to the audience to figure out which argument was better. But all you came up with was petty and reactionary rhetoric, full of ad hominem attacks that were frankly embarrassing. It's because of people like you and AP, Apostate Prophet, who do not prepare properly, that we had, we hand easy wins, listen, that we hand easy wins to these medieval idiots, making fun or throwing a clever jab at the opponent when you have no substantive argument to make does not, does not a good debate make. Do better next time and take this as a learning experience. And he writes in edit because um, Harris Sultan seems to be deleting his comments. He goes, edit. He says, why did you delete my comment? I did not expect that. <laughs> Look at that. So he's obviously written this earlier, but Harris Sultan deleted this non-Muslim's uh, remarks, criticism against um, Harris Sultan. So isn't that against freedom of speech uh, and so forth? Notice how he deletes the comments. This is so embarrassing, it's not even funny anymore. Look at this, another non-Muslim, he writes, I am sorry, Harris, but this time you didn't make a good argument like many of your debates. And I have to give it to Daniel. He really made good points. Your arguments, Harris, were too narrow. This is by Ray, another non-Muslim. Have a look at this. This seems to be another non-Muslim. He says, I think Daniel's arguments were hard to swallow, but made fundamental and rational sense. Contemporary science and thought is tainted by emotions. Why don't judgments based on feelings, but judgments based on what works? Have a look at this. This is coming from Zalzala. Looks like an ex-Muslim. She, uh, she or he says, I'm disappointed, Harris. You didn't address a single argument. You just lost a subscriber. Bye. Rest in peace. So this person was a subscriber to Harris and now they're deserting him. <laughs> Check this out. CJ Clanton says, honestly, I think Daniel is a better debater, but his position is so bad he lost anyway. So he says Daniel lost, but he agrees that Daniel was a better debater. <laughs>